thank you everyone for being here. It's very excited. And uh, since it's the third time we're here, it's almost like a family reunion. So we'd like to take this time to share with you some of the recent updates of Sandbox. A lot is happening, I know, so sometimes it's a bit hard to catch up. Let me start by saying a proper good morning to everyone. I think it's important to salute all of us. All the artists in the room, raise your hand, please. Where are the artists? All right. Where are the creators? Builders? Sand owners? All right, I see some here. Land owners, maybe, here in the room? Uh, players, investors, we're all here together for the same reason. We basically want to connect, we want to network, we want to build the future, and we're glad to see that it's happening and make it happen, actually. Um, so, if you're not too familiar with Sandbox yet, let me give you a quick overview in one minute of what is it. It starts with having a virtual land on the map where you can publish an experience, and then you can build like fun games and experiences without any single line of code. Just drag and dropping assets. Any one of us in this room can become a creator, make our 3D content, animate it, put it in an experience, create your, our own quest and mission, start interacting with our avatar and playing with other mint our NFTs without any line of code again and start selling it on the marketplace. Publish the experience of our dream. Even if we are not a gamer, we can make very fun and interesting content, as we'll see. Start welcoming other users with their avatar. Make new friends in the metaverse. Yes, many of you actually met the first time in virtual world, in games, in the metaverse. Connect, dance, interact with each other, and many more things that are coming up. So that's what Sandbox is today. I'm really proud. We are proud to keep growing. So even if the metaverse is not in the news every day, it's been taken away by AI and other technologies. Like we're working behind the scenes to onboard more and more users, and we're proud to come more than 5.8 million users now, uh, onboarding them for the first time in Web3, allowing them to own their digital assets. And you know what? Like, yes, they are doing things in the metaverse. They are spending 62 minutes on average in a land, 20 to 40 minutes per experience. And within that time, they get a chance to discover, to educate themselves, to see your art, to see your creation as NFTs, and many more things. And that growth is actually being driven by Asia. Over the last 12 months, Asia now represents more than 30% of the audience of the sandbox. Europe is still there, 30%, and then US is a little bit lagging behind with less than 18% today. Uh, so it's great to see that we are bringing like, culture from many parts of the world in the metaverse, and we, it is because we are here present on the ground at all those various events, helping creators, first-time creators, to onboard them to the possibilities of new jobs in China, in Shanghai, here in India, in Vietnam, uh, and the other region here in Philippines, I think, here in Korea, here in Hong Kong. So it's quite exciting for us like, to be able to bridge the gap, to be the entry point for many people to discover they can be creators, they can make fun content. And that has led to a growth of our ecosystem. Now we are proud to count over 800 partners, 220 35 studios that are in their turn, like onboarding people of the, the possibilities that the metaverse has to offer, launching their experiences, and showing that it can be much more than a gaming platform. It's actually a world of culture. Also, we know that Gen Z, and I'm sure like many of us in this room are now like part of that generation, we are born with technology. We are using smartphones, we are using tablets uh, from the beginning. We want to be actively engaged, not just like passively consume content. We want to create our own characters, our own stories and adventure, our own level. And Sandbox is the perfect solution to address that project because we basically give you the power to create with no cost, with no code, and without any limitation. And we, when I see and I meet those creators at events like today and all around the world, I see what they're doing and how they can, like, earn a revenue as well from that, I feel like we are really in the right direction. So we proud to come now over 330,000 unique creators who've been using the sandbox over the past 12 months to build content, to participate in game jams. And we allow them to bring to life their imagination, to make things that they thought were impossible become possible. 
no matter their background, no matter if they are not like engineering, gaming before, they're really from all parts of the world, from all fields of culture, whether it's art and fashion, in music, in uh, uh, charities and NGOs and so on, they've been able to create amazing stuff. And we want to continue to empower you to do that by constantly updating the different tools of Sandbox. So we have a regular update of our game maker that allows you now to make fun, social, multiplayer games, that allows you to introduce monetization with NFT gating and other mechanics. We provide a lot of tutorials, guidance, education, game jams, showcasing, and so on. So let me show you some of the latest features of Sandbox in a recent version that we launched last April. So we have access to templates, so you can create using a template within minutes. You have access to more complex uh, uh, guidelines and uh, rule system to create like fun mechanics. You can make first-person shooter, you can use projectile, you can use, you can customize your own interface. You can basically add a lot of visual effects as well. Ooh, I think that spot it some. <laughs> and then you can have like all of those content published directly. We're going to we encourage content creation with uh, Game Jam. You can literally navigate, travel from one experience to another within seconds now since the last update, and that keep pushing like more and more interaction, faster discovery of content. And we also want to hear from you. What should we do next? So wait for it, we have some announcement about that. But it's really important for us to collect the feedback from the creator, from the community, to make sure that we can make the most of the platform. A little bit earlier this year, we launched the first Builder Channel, a program that's been running for 10 weeks, and that we awarded over 1.5 million cents, so over $1 million, in prices to top creator. You can see here some of the top 10 creations that were published on the platform. The number one actually won over 400,000 cents. That's a six-figure number. It's becoming very sizable in terms of revenue. And our goal is that those creators, some of them actually present at the conference, can earn four, five, six-figure, and hopefully seven-figure next year on the Sandbox platform, to really drive forward the creator economy. So maybe a big round of applause to those creators. Some of them are here. Some of them will be seeing online. It's always a pleasure to showcase like talent and creativity. And we want to keep empowering you for more education. So we also launched a global bootcamp program where like started in Paris on May 13 and 14. And we're going to be in uh, 10 countries and cities around the world for two days, intense training, where we will learn some of the best and most recent uh, updates and, and ways to use Sandbox to like increase your monetization, increase the engagement from your community and launch exciting things. We just passed a very exciting milestone as well. We have now more than 1,000 experiences on Sandbox. I don't know if you were there last year or the year before. Sandbox used to be open only during alpha season and events, and then there was nothing. Today, there's a 1,000 games made by creators like you that you can go and explore, and there's still events and season ongoing. So it's quite exciting to feel like how the metaverse has been changing in shape, how there's always something to do to discover and you can find that content on the gallery here uh, by thematic, by trending, uh, by your favorite creator, by your favorite IP as well. So we provide ways for you to discover content way simply. We also still have events ongoing. So every week you come to Sandbox, there's hundreds of thousands of sand that you can earn playing events with your favorite uh, brands and IPs. And we're really proud to like be, build this like modern Disneyland park, where we come with our digital identity. We can really be who we want, choose our avatar, that avatar that represents our CD character. It's an NFT. And you can use it to build your statues, to build your reputation, to express yourself and choose how you look like. It's, we launched over 19 official collections this year, so there's hundreds of thousands of unique avatars available including for various fields of music, of fashion, of sports, of art, as you can see here. One more thing is like the map of Sandbox. This is something like really unique that distinguishes us from all the other virtual worlds. We have this finite map of 166 to 164 land that you can uh, access, you can own a digital piece of real estate, 
publish our experience, we sold about 75% of it, and we're continuously curating some of the top brands, introducing new neighborhoods. So we have eight new neighborhoods coming up this year. We already did Thaiverse, we sold it out. Korea verse three, we sold it out again. And sorry, I cannot say yet, but in the coming weeks, about the end of uh, the month, we'll be announcing something pretty exciting, a major, major entertainment IP coming up. Actually, not one. Three major entertainment IPs coming up to Sandbox, where you will be, uh, will be have the luck to become the virtual neighbor of it. So in a nutshell, our vision, and we keep building toward that vision for the next five to 10 years, is how do we empower anyone to become a creator, and how anyone can enter as they want with their avatar to play and interact. And going further, I believe that we're not just creating this gaming platform, we're creating a virtual world where future meets gaming. And you are defining what the future looks like, bringing music, bringing fashion, bringing sport, entertainment, art, media, and so on. And that's why it's so important for us to be here at conference like NFC Summit in Lisbon to connect with our different community. And we have one more announcement today. Actually, since we started Sandbox in 2020, we chose to build using blockchain and NFTs because we really wanted to be to bring freedom through, through digital ownership. We wanted to decentralize the platform. It's always been part of our white paper. And we started to be decentralization by introducing the SAN token. Today, SAN token is the top 10 gaming token. It's the top 100 cryptocurrency around the world. It's been used and owned by hundreds of thousands, probably millions of people who are buying assets, selling assets, buying land, participating, uh, in different contexts and using it way beyond the sandbox platform. And we want to push further that vision of creating an open world, giving the autonomy to players to actually participate in the future decision of the platform. And that's why right now, it's now live. We're excited to introduce the DAO of Sandbox. So it's called the Sandbox DAO. Thank you. It's live. There's already three SIB Sandbox Improvement Proposal where you'll be able to participate, vote, express your ID or vote of the ID from the community and help us shape the future of the metaverse. For the future of the metaverse, how can you get involved? You'll be involved, you can get involved by proposing how you want us to define the rewards, the mechanics, the amounts, and uh, et cetera, for the upcoming season and event how we are going to use the blue reserve land. There's more than 25,000 lands available that we will be distributing to the creator for free and we host the project. You'll be able to also uh, define the status of players, of creators, based on the number of land that they own, the amount of sand that they own, or the NFT that they own. And you can also define the priority for the development roadmap, the future gameplay, how we should build season and event and so on. But that's not all. We are providing a budget of 25 million sand per year for this DAO. So you can also make your own proposal on what are the initiatives that we should support to our like growing the sand ecosystem or the sandbox platform, which project we should support, which charity we should support as well, and many more ideas. So we cannot wait to see those ideas. And to support that DAO, we're proud to announce together a council composed of five members. They are like very seasoned entrepreneur and people I'm sure everyone of you knows. Yatsu, the CEO and chairman of Animo Cabrant, one of the largest investors in Web3 with more than 450 portfolio companies. I guess I don't need any introduction. Shannon Snow, which is the CEO of World of Women, the largest community led by women that started from the NFT collection. Jean-Michel Payon, the, the co-founder of Ledger and Grail Capital, who is very active in supporting artists and in the art world today. And Frédéric Montagnon, a serial entrepreneur with also a lot of like, involvement with Ariani and many web free projects. So they will be here to ensure like, all the proposals are going toward like, the right direction, that we ensure the transparency toward the decision being made, and that all the SAPs that are voted are effectively implemented and we share Get report to you as well as the community. And alongside that council, we're also proud to announce some of the advisors of the DAO joining us today. They are like as well like 
very well-known and renowned people who are builders in the space in different thematic and vertical, whether it's music, education, um, charity, sustainability, environment, inclusion, diversity, sports, arts, and uh, known as well within like a lot of DAO communities. Anthony Chow, Ina Moja, Loretta Chen, Matthew Vivian, Mia Bao, Samuel Choi, Zach Shaw are joining us today as advisors. That's it. I think I'm right on time. Yes, I did it. Thank you, Greta. Um, thank you for being here today. Let's make the most of those three days at NFC Summit and all those five events. And I hope to see you join, participate in the DAO, voting with your son, voting with your land. Let's build the future of the metaverse all together. Thank you.